copy this and paste it and replace keys.up to keys.down and re replace the minus equals to plus equals and that covers both the up and down arrow keys so now we need to cover the left and right so we can just copy this and change keys.up to keys.left and keys.down to keys.right and position.y change to position.x and when you press left the x position is decreasing so this is correct when you press the right the y the x position is increasing so this is correct so if we press F5 and run our game, we should have a nice movement set. As you can see, we can move past the game window. So we can add the check bounds method. And again, it's not created yet, so we can just generate the method stub. And delete the throw new exception. If position.x is less than zero, which means we pass the left side of the game window, position.x is equal to zero. If position.x is greater than graphics device dot viewport dot width. So that's the width of the game window minus the texture dot width. And that just sets the positioning of the texture so that the when we press the right key, it'll stop moving when the right side of the texture hits the right side of the game window. Position.x is equal to graphics device that viewport that width minus texture that width. And do the same thing for the height and y position. So we can copy that, change position.x to position.y, position.x to position.y, position.x is greater than graphics device dot viewport dot height minus texture dot height. Position dot y is equal to graphics device dot viewport dot height minus texture dot height. So let's press F5 and see what we got. As you can see, the texture stops when we hit the right side of the game window. And it's doing it that way because we subtracted the texture dot width. If we did not do it that way, the Sprite will leave the game window, but it will stop when it is completely gone. Now that we have a nice movement, let's increase the speed. So up at the top, underneath the vector 2, let's make a float speed variable. And inside the initialize, let's add that to 10. and position.y minus equals change 1.0f to speed and do the same thing for everything else position.y plus equals speed position.x minus equals speed position.x plus equals speed now let's have a look so it's much quicker and it will not go outside of the game window and you can press two keys at once, you get a diagonal. And that's how you move with the keyboard. And also, if you want to enable escape to quit your game, just add on to this if at the top. And add an or. Keyboard dot get state dot is key down keys dot escape 
So that's what you do, and we can add an escape as a closing. So that's it for the keyboard movement. Now we'll worry about the gamepad movement. Hope to see you next time.